Court is adjourned there in Georgia, where former President Trump's attorneys have been asking the judge to throw out the election interference charges against him in that state. They're arguing on the basis of First Amendment here. I want to bring in ABC News executive editorial producer John Santucci, along with ABC News contributor, former Georgia prosecutor Chris Timmons, for more. John, one of Trump's co-defendants here is also seeking to dismiss the charges yep. against him. Uh, the former Georgia Republican Party chair, Dave Schaefer, is yep. arguing... His attorneys were attempting to comply with advice of counsel when he served as a so-called fake elector. What do you make of these, all of this intertwining right now? You know, the reality is that they are all grasping at straws and way to make this case go away, right? So just to bring everybody back up to speed, right? This whole fake elector plot, if you will, was an effort by Donald Trump's campaign and other Trump loyalists to build an alternate slate of electors, the people that certify the elections for every state, because. Joe Biden was declared the winner of the elections in the state of Georgia. That was the team of electors that was certified by the state legislature and was then going to deliver those results to Congress, which is the typical process before the votes are certified on January the 6th, which happens every four years. In this case, what David Schaefer and others did as part of a directive from Team Trump was to build out an alternate slate because they maintained that the election was rigged, to use their words and that the votes were compromised and thus in their opinion more research needed to be dug in to the tabulation of votes as Sidney Powell and others have already testified about and thus an alternate slate of electors should be built which Schaefer and others were a part of and of course what they're leaning into is they took advice of counsel and others because remember Rudy Giuliani very publicly was the face of team Trump going down to the Georgia state legislature meeting with officials forcing them, if you will, to violate their oath of office and say, eh, take the Joe Biden electors, put them aside, go with this alternate slate of electors that says Donald Trump won. Now, obviously, that did not happen, but regardless, that is why we're here, right? It's the efforts by Donald Trump and his allies to overturn the results of the election, and that is what David Schaefer, Trump, in this motion are trying to do. But this is just one of many, right? We have seen how many motions so far with the same goal make this case go away. Chris, prosecutors say the phrase fake elector doesn't even exist in the indictment. So how significant is that in the context of this argument? Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's more sort of egg on your face type thing than it is um, significant legally. I mean, you know, if you're up there complaining about the, the term fake elector being in the indictment and it's not there, that's kind of embarrassing uh, for the defense side. But really what they're getting at is there are a lot of other terms in there um, that talk about, you know, duly elected uh, electors, things of that nature. What they're saying is that those were what we heard at the end there anyway, was that those are legal conclusions and that they don't belong in an indictment because they're, you know, you shouldn't have legal conclusions in there they should be all about the facts that said though the state's absolutely right i mean almost every indictment has you know legal conclusions all over it for example the uh, the example they gave is malice at forethought um kind of what we hear about in a, a murder indictment sort of that's that's along the lines of premeditated and um and deliberated before the murder occurred um, and so, you know, there's always going to be legal phrases that are in indictment. The fact that the defendant doesn't like those legal phrases is not a reason to have them taken out, Diane. John, earlier, Trump's attorneys argued the entire indictment is based on political speech, and so that should all be protected under the First Amendment. Um, the prosecutors are saying this speech was part of a pattern of criminal conduct. So what's at stake at this stage here? Well, and what's at stake is clearly what the heck is going to happen with this trial, right? Because at the moment, we don't have a date. We have a proposed date from the DA for some time in August. The thing that I keep coming back to is that if you look at when this case was originally charged, which was ironically almost a year ago with August, the DA said in one of their initial presentations the case would take four to five months to present. Okay, so let's put that on the table first. The other thing that we obviously have to go through is jury selection. Think about the other case right now that has gone on in Georgia recently that was a RICO indictment. It involved the YSL gang. That took nearly eight months to seat a jury. Now, that was 35 defendants or so. This is, you know, 18, a little less now. I think we're down to 15, including Trump. But do they charge them all together? Do they do two separate trials? There's so many questions to work out. But again, let's just back up. If the presentation of the case is going to take several months and you're going to start in August, does that mean that we're going to be seeing this trial play out while voters are heading into the polls? 
it would certainly seem that way. And the argument from Team Trump is that, hey, listen, that is election interference. That's going to be the question the judges weigh in next. Uh, Chris, how do you get around that, the timing here and the complications that will come with seating a jury over a case of involving the former president? Well, so, Diane, I mean, the argument we hear from every defendant is this is inconvenient for me in some ways. And, and I understand that, you know, this is obviously a case of national importance, and so is the election. But, you know, just because somebody's a doctor and they've got surgery scheduled or, you know, they've got a lawyer and they've got an important meeting schedule doesn't mean that, you know, trial's going to stop for that type of thing. It's not like the federal government where, you know, the Department of Justice has a policy that they won't bring somebody to trial or, or actually they won't indict somebody within 90 days of an election here. I think we heard recently uh, in some of the other federal cases that, you know, they're not abiding by that that uh, kind of rule as it comes to trying cases. Um, but yeah, there's a there's an entire likelihood or possibility here that the former president could be sitting in a Georgia courtroom on the day that uh, that voters are deciding whether to elect him the next president of the United States. John, what are you watching for next? Well, I'm waiting to see a couple things. I think, one, I really want to see what's going to happen with the trial date here. Two, I do think what's going to be interesting is that, you know, Trump has not been able to go to any of these proceedings so far. He thought of going to this one today. He's instead attending the funeral for the NYPD officer who was tragically killed earlier this week on Long Island later this afternoon. But what I'm actually curious to see is that when we have this first criminal trial start later this uh, in April in New York that's going to go anywhere from six to eight weeks, what happens with the other cases, right? Because in theory, they're criminal cases. Trump has the right to attend. Do motions get slowed down because of that? Does process get slowed down because of that? I don't think we've ever really seen any of this, obviously, right? You've never seen a former president, any president on trial. But that collision course, right? It's not just this one case. There's three other criminal cases. I'm curious that when that case gets to trial and we're fully in it, what happens to the other three? Do we move forward at all? 